there wedding enthusiasts, welcome to Wedding News, where love takes the centre stage and emotions run wild. I'm your host, Fiona Davis, and as usual, we'll uncover tales of love, romance, makeups, breakups, and everything in between. So fasten your seatbelts as we go through this whirlwind of passion, heartache, and the unexpected. On the news today, Russell Simmons, father of the 21-year-old Aoki Lee Simmons, is aware of his daughter's romantic rendezvous with a 65-year-old restaurateur, Victoria Asaf, and he's still with it. Nigerian media personality Dotsu turns 40 and he addresses his ex-in-laws in an Instagram birthday post. Ghanaian media personality Sewa Amiere is pressing charges against those involved in the leak of her intimate video. Stick around for all the scoop. Welcome back. On his 40th birthday, Nigerian media personality and hype man Ola Dotun Ojolakwe Kayoli, popularly known as Dotun, used the occasion to confront his ex-in-laws and critics over the ongoing custody battle for his children following his divorce from Taiwo Oyebanjo. In a passionate Instagram post, he didn't mince words as he expressed his frustration and determination. He stated, I am 40 now, you didn't take my soul with you, with all you did to me, but you built a new man. I didn't let you in. I am not weak, but I am wiser now. You all want me to beg fried fish and the family for me to see my kids. Law jokers. Lesson 101, let a good family thrive. And even if it's not, not my name and my kids. Do everything to me, but if you contribute to destroying my name, my family and kids, you have crossed the line. And truly, you all are the ones that owe me an apology. You wronged the wrong one, I repeat. Keep the kids for life till we meet again. And as for others, please, henceforth, respect my innovations, hustle, my work, and my name. God doesn't sleep, and if you've forgotten my contributions, good for you. Look for another mentor, but don't touch what I sweated for. I'll bite you hard. But despite the challenges he faced, he vowed to continue fighting for what he believes in, asserting his strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Sewa Amere, widely known and respected in Ghana, is recognized not only for her work as a news journalist and presenter, but also for her entrepreneurial and philanthropic endeavors, as well as her influence in the fashion industry. With over 2 million followers on Instagram and a significant presence on other platforms, she has become a target for those seeking to exploit her fame for personal gain. The Ghanaian Police Service has filed charges against these three individuals accused of sharing an intimate video involving the broadcast journalist Sewa. The accused identified as Edem Savior Ketty, Candy Love Kwayewa Ababio, and Henry Akonsa, also known as Henry Fitz, are facing charges related to sexual extortion and the intentional distribution of the video. The charges include conspiracy to commit non-consensual sharing of intimate images and sexual extortion under relevant sections of the Criminal Offences Act 1960 and the Cyber Security Act 2020. The incident unfolded after a video featuring Sewa and Henry Fitz surfaced on social media, sparking widespread speculation. Subsequently, Sewa received threats demanding payments to prevent the public sharing of intimate photos. Despite compliance with the demands, the accused proceeded to publish the video. This unfortunate incident highlights the challenges faced by public figures in maintaining their privacy and security in an era of pervasive digital communication. But despite the distress caused by such violations, Sewa's resilience and determination to seek justice serves as a reminder of the importance of standing up against cyber exploitation and holding perpetrators accountable. Stay tuned and Wedding News will be right back. Welcome back. Renowned gospel artist Kirk Franklin and his wife Tammy Franklin are beaming with joy as their son Keziah Franklin recently announced his engagement to Alena Pitts. Sharing the heartwarming news on Instagram, Keziah posted a photo of his beachside proposal accompanied by a caption expressing their excitement for the journey ahead. Tammy Franklin also joined in sharing her love and support with the couple in the comment section. Kirk Franklin, in a touching tribute on his personal Instagram page, celebrated his son's milestone, describing him as his young king who has found his queen. He expressed pride in Keziah's growth and readiness for marriage, extending his blessings to the couple. Following the engagement announcement, Kirk shared an emotional video of him embracing Keziah at the beach, capturing the heartfelt moments of joy and celebration. In the caption, Kirk reflected on his own journey as a father, expressing hope that Keziah would find success and happiness in his marriage. The Franklin family with its blended dynamics embraces this union with open arms, celebrating the bonds of love and family. Kirk and Tammy Franklin have built a beautiful family together with Keziah being the youngest amongst their children. Well, as they embark on this new chapter, they do so with love, support and a deep sense of pride for their son and his future bride, Elena. 
Russell Simmons, co-founder of Def Jam and Aoki Lee Simmons' dad, is staying cool amidst the buzz surrounding his 21-year-old daughter's relationship with a 65-year-old Victoria Asaf, founder of the Serafina Restaurant Group. Despite the uproar over the couple's PDA-filled vacation photos and said barbs, Russell seems unfazed. In an interview with TMZ, Russell revealed that he had spoken to Aoki the day before news of her romance with Victoria broke, so he was prepared for the social media frenzy. He expressed his relaxed attitude stating, I'm not going to kick and scream about her choices. Instead, Russell emphasized offering his advice and unconditional love to his daughter. While Russell maintains his calm DM in all social media has erupted with criticism over the significant age gap between Aoki and Vittorio. Fans find the relationship inappropriate and have directed their disapproval towards Russell and Kimora Lee Simmons, as well as Aoki herself. Despite the backlash, Aoki seems unperturbed as indicated by her recent Instagram Live addressing the controversy. Although the exact circumstances of their meeting remain unclear, rumors suggest it occurred on the island during their vacation. In an era marked by relationships with staggering age gaps, the notion that age is just a number has become a contentious topic. While some argue that love knows no bounds and points to successful partnerships defying age norms, others raise concerns about power dynamics, societal perceptions, and potential imbalances in such relationships. One thing's for sure, this definitely won't be the last of such. Hollywood actor Jonathan Majors has been sentenced to probation and avoided prison time for assaulting his ex-girlfriend in a highly publicized case that has had significant repercussions on his career. The 34-year-old star of Creed 3 had faced up to one year behind bars after he was convicted of Ms. Diamino assault by a Manhattan jury in December. Following his guilty verdict, Majors had been immediately dropped by Marvel Studios. Marvel had cast him as Kang the Conqueror, a role envisioned as the main villain in the entertainment empire's movies and television shows that would likely have cemented his name as one of the biggest actors in Hollywood. The conviction stemmed from an altercation in March 2023 in which Majors' then-girlfriend Grace Jabari accused him of attacking her in the backseat of a chauffeur car, saying he hit her head with his open hand, twisted her arm behind her back and squeezed her middle finger until it fractured. Jabari fighting back tears as she addressed the court said Majors refused to acknowledge his guilt and remains a danger to those around him. He's not sorry. He has not accepted responsibility, she said. He will do this again and it will hurt other women. He believes he is above the law. Jabari said Majors had made her believe the two were in a loving relationship, but in reality, he isolated her from the rest of the world and cut her off from family and friends. I was so emotionally dependent on him, she said. I became a different person around him, small, scared, and vulnerable. Majors had claimed the 31-year-old British dancer was the aggressor, flying into a jealous rage after reading a text message from another woman on his phone. He maintained he was only trying to regain his phone and escape Jabari safely. The jury ultimately convicted him of one assault charge and a harassment violation, though acquitted him of a different assault charge and of aggravated harassment. It is unclear whether the character of Kang will be recast and remain in future Marvel films or if the studio will scrap projects based around the character. Jonathan Major's career took off in Hollywood, where he starred in projects like The Harder They Fall, The Five Bloods, and Creed III. Majors was dressed in an all-black ensemble accompanied by his girlfriend who's also an actress, Megan Good, and he declined to address the court or speak to reporters. According to his lawyer, Priya Chaudhary, Majors is committed to growing as a person and will complete the court-mandated program with an open heart, even as he maintains his innocence and plans to appeal. And that brings us to the end of Wedding News today. We'll be back again tomorrow with all the sensational stories. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Wedding Channel and on YouTube, Wedding Channel Africa. I'm Fiona Davis. Until next time, stay tuned, stay jiggy.